What's up, YouTube? This is Larry. I've been a full-time reseller since 1997, and this is everything that we sold this weekend on eBay. We had a pretty good weekend. We had a 25% off our entire store. We're doing pretty good. I'm coming up with a new philosophy. I used to be all free shipping, free shipping, free shipping, because everybody's like, oh, free shipping's where it's at. I don't believe that anymore. So I'm charging shipping on everything now, so I'm in the process of changing all my stuff. And we're just going to have bigger percentages off on a sale that way you know because they're paying for shipping so now I can have a bigger sale and it won't take my shipping money because whenever you run a big you know a bigger percentage sale you're afraid of losing that shipping money because they'll take the 50% off of your shipping too which you know eats into it so if you do a 50% off and it's plus shipping they'll only take the 50% off like the $50 item don't you'll sell it for 25 but you'll still get the five or ten dollars to ship it because it's going to cost you that money to ship every time so new philosophy let's see how it works i've been a full-time reseller since 1997 and i show you everything i sell that way you might be able to find some stuff that you're like hey wow i didn't know that went for that you know sometimes i get some crazy stuff sometimes i sell you know hats for three hundred dollars or i'll sell shirts for three hundred bucks sold a dvd called city heat it was new With the sale, we only sold it for $9.97, which that's about the point. I don't really like to sell stuff that cheap, but yeah, we paid a dollar for it at a pawn shop. Uh, literally, we just listed this two days ago. It's a cool single stitch made in USA jersey looking t-shirt. They charged me $2.99 for it at the thrift store. They said it wasn't a t-shirt. Their t-shirts are $1.99. Their regular shirts are 3 bucks. so... Paid paid two ninety nine for it, and we sold it today for thirty four ninety nine. So, guess I can't complain too much. We sold a CD. We bought this CD at uh when we took our trip to State College, Pennsylvania. It was a new CD. It was something spelling bee or something. It was like. I think it was a Broadway show or something. But man, we were we were rummaging through every single thing we could at that uh at the thrift stores when we took that trip cuz literally, man, all I found was garbage. It was just a bunch of trash. I couldn't find anything to make money on hardly. So we were really digging deep and scanning everything and we still lost money. Hopefully I find this thing. It's not, it's not looking too good. All right, we just put it in the wrong spot. We put it up here with our, our used ones. They said, I just scanned this because it was new. I usually try to scan almost any new CD. Because the new ones usually go for pretty good money. I did not think this would sell at all, to tell you the truth. I think I only paid like a dollar for it or a dollar forty nine or something. We sold it for seventeen ninety nine with our percentage off, so hey, I'm happy with that. It sold pretty quick. I mean, it's only been about a month ago since I went on that trip. Sold another C D. We uh the guy sold me like sixty eight metal CDs like a week or two ago for like a buck a piece. Now this, this was actually out of the ones he sold me for 50 cents. He sold me a bunch a few months ago that were a buck a piece and he sold me I think 68 the other day for 50 cents a piece. I think this came out of the ones I have about 50 cents a piece in. If I can ever find it here, it's Sebastian Bach. There we go. This is cool, I don't, I've never seen this album before. But this cool Sebastian Bach, he was a lead singer of Skid Row. So we have about 50 cents in this, and we sold it for $14.99. We found one of those days where there wasn't much to buy. We happened to see this at a thrift store. I think we paid 99 cents for it. It's new. It's never been open. I just thought it was kind of cool. It was a superhero thing. Anytime I find something that's new for a dollar, I buy it. We've had it for probably almost a year. I know it was when we had the lockdown, like in March. I know I still had it then, so... It's probably been almost a year. I finally sold it for twenty-one ninety-nine with shipping. We sold a 
meatloaf CD. I don't even remember having this CD. I think it's right here, though. Uh, couldn't have said it better. It's meatloaf. I think I, this came out of that 50 cent deal I bought off that one, dude. And I had never seen this meatloaf CD before. So I thought it would be pretty good, so I looked it up. We sold it for $7.49 and it was used, so that's not bad. I think we sold a Greg Lloyd jersey. I'm going to take all this out. I didn't have to take everything out. This was sitting on top. This is the Greg Lloyd jersey. I believe it was a champion jersey. I bought this on that trip to State College. Like I said, I was digging through and, and just trying to... Wishing things would would sell. And I, I think I paid a little more for this than I would have. Just because I wasn't really finding anything. And... I needed really to buy some stuff to make some money to pay for the trip. So we paid maybe about $7 for this, I think. And we sold it for $29.99 today. And we have to pay shipping out of that. We sold this Super America gas station shirt. It was brand new, never been used. Basically, it was advertising Hershey's and Kit Kats. And that's back when king size candy bars were 79 cents. I think it's dated somewhere. It's from the 90s. It was single stitch, made in USA, I believe. It was a 2X, so it was a good size. It's made of US components, so it wasn't even made in USA. We decided to stick to our guns and, and just try to get good money out of it because I figured somebody that you know, worked at Super America might want to collect it or, or somebody that collects Hershey stuff or candy or even Halloween stuff. So there was all kinds of things that people could collect. So I figured it would be a good shirt. So we bought it for $1.99. And we sold it for $56.64. I'm telling you guys, don't fall asleep on these t-shirts. Make sure you're on the hunt looking for t-shirts. I don't even think this one here was made in USA. I think it's the same same tag. Yeah, I think it was made of US components or something. Which it's still, uh, this is from like 2001. It's an Xbox shirt. They gave them away, I think, at, uh, for the employees at GameStop or something. We paid $1.99 for this. And we sold this one for $47.99. So like I said, be on the lookout for these shirts. They're dollar, two dollar investments that you can get forty, fifty dollars for. You know, this took a little while to sell, but it sold. Both of them took maybe like a year to sell. Another week, another autograph CD sold. Don't know what it is. We sell an autograph CD almost every week. I said we don't even have that many of them. We sold this autograph Herman's Hermits. It was Peter Noon. Autographed. We bought this at a thrift store for $1.99. And we sold it. Actually, this is the second one that we found at a thrift store. So like I said, keep an eye out for thrift stores. You can find autographs there. And this is this is a real autograph. Sold it for $17.80. Didn't make a huge amount of money, but like I said, I only paid $1.50 for it. So for Michigan State Jersey. We found this Popeyes Eastern Michigan jersey. I think it was a kid's size. It was it was a small size. It was either kids or a, a, a ladies. I'm pretty sure it was a kids though. But uh, we picked it up at the thrift store for like a buck, I think. And uh, we sold this one for $23.99. Sold a DVD. I always told you, always look out for these how-to and, and like art DVDs, show you how to paint and different kind of stuff. We paid, we bought a bunch of these for like a dollar a piece. And as you can tell, I've already sold them all. I think we have one or two left. I'm not sure what that other one is, it might be two. But we sold, we paid a dollar for this and we sold it for 
$29.99. We sold this Mario calendar like a few years ago, like two years ago. Think Geek had like a 75, 80% off sale. And I bought a few of these Mario dust calendars. I think they were like five bucks a piece through the sale. And we tried to sell them at our store and they just sat there. We sold like one and they sat there for a year or two. And finally I decided to put them on eBay. I didn't put them on eBay before because everybody bought them and everybody was like dumping them cheap. They were just trying to get their $5 back. So I kind of waited till everybody was sold out and I looked on eBay again and there wasn't too many of these on there. And I think I priced it around, you know, 44, 45 or 50 bucks. And I had the sale going on, so it went for uh, $26.99. So we finally made some money off of it. It took us almost two years, though. If you guys have been watching the channel, you know that uh, I was talking to one of my buddies that was a... Yeah, he sells media also. And I asked him about these, like, Bee Gees CDs. Because he was looking at the CDs and he had these pulled out. And he said... Uh, that they don't they didn't really go for very much and he, he told me that i should buy them and you know put a big lot of them on ebay so i was like well okay that sounds like a good idea i probably could sell them as a lot well i got them home and i started looking them up and these things were going for big money some of them were going for really big money i think it's this one right here i think it's I think it was the sign. I think it's this one. I'll have to go back and double check. But like I said, I've never seen this one before around. This was sealed. I paid I paid less than 50 cents for it. I bought, all, I bought a whole stack of like, you know, 38, no, 48 CDs for 20 bucks. And like I said, another reseller gave these to me. He's just like, oh, I don't want them. You should buy these. And I sold this one for $89.99. And a bunch of them are like 50, 60 bucks. I mean, it's crazy what these things are going for. I was sold an AJ Styles. I don't know if they're in here or if it's in someplace else. There it is. We had the sale going on. And then the guy gave me a best offer or something that's even cheaper than what the sale price was. I went ahead and took it. I'm not a big wrestling fan. These have been these have been around for a long time. No, nobody really wants him with the TNA. They want the WWE photos. We ended up, I think we only have about $5 tied up into this, so we don't have a whole lot of money in these. And like I said, they just don't sell that well. So when I got the best offer of $16.99, I went ahead and took it. Like I said, I'm trying to sell some stuff. Sold another wrestler. I'm gonna end up tearing up that AJ Styles. I sold a Nikita Koloff autograph photo. We had him for our, at our store at Peddler's Junction. He signed, I don't know, 300 pieces for us for like 500 bucks or something. We ended up selling this one right here for $16.99 shipped. We're going to go ahead and stay in the wrestling theme. This one, I just saw this shirt I was looking for when I was looking in here earlier. It's a uh, Goldberg shirt. There it is. I think it's a 1998 WCW Goldberg shirt. I've been holding out for good money on this had it for like a year no one's bought it I had that i priced it down and then that sale made it even lower and i went ahead and knocked off like a couple dollars so i think i got maybe 30 dollars for this only paid a dollar 99 for it. we sold this kermit the frog parody t-shirt today we took a best offer of 80 dollars the guy paid we paid a dollar 99 for it guys that's everything we sold hopefully you enjoyed it hopefully you picked up some things that you know some items or tips or something that might help you 